Hey everyone, thanks for coming back. This is Tony. If you are new here, you can go ahead on and hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. And if you are not new here, thanks for coming back and you can hit this like button. So just keep watching. So today I'm bringing you a video on the three top ways to record your screen. The first way is Screencastify. I tried it. Um, I was not a fan of it because it was not allowing me an easy way to edit my video all the way. It only allowed me to edit the beginning or the end of my video. I wasn't really a big fan of it. Um, yeah, it just wasn't working for me. Some people do swear by it and they love it but it just wasn't no I wasn't a fan of it um, because I wasn't able able to edit the videos the way I wanted to so the next thing is screencast-o-matic yet again I was not a fan of this one because I had to download something to my computer I did not want to download anything to my actual computer so this last one is Loom, and I am a huge fan of Loom. With Loom, you can opt to download Loom to your desktop, which gives you a little bit more options, but you don't have to. You can use it for Windows, you can use it for your Mac, Chrome, as well as iOS, okay? And Loom is free. But currently, um, Loom Pro, you can also get for free if you have a teacher or student email address loom pro is different because it allows you to record longer than 30 minutes the basic is just 30 minutes so this is what my loom looks like these are my videos that i recorded and yeah so there's a lot you can actually do with loom okay and at the top you have your search and you can search your different videos you have pricing you have your videos and you have more so at the right hand side you have you could create a new video you can add a new folder which is what i'm doing now so i'm just going to title this folder personal finance and you can actually group your videos whatever you record you can group them to make it a little bit more organized so right now i don't have mine's grouped but yeah so with each video you can rename it you can archive it you can download it or you can duplicate it so what I'm doing here is adding the extension to my browser to make it easy to record. If you have the extension and you're on a screen and you want to record that screen or you teaching your students or whoever, something about that screen, once you have the extension, all you would do is hit that little button on the right hand side and it will record your screen. Pretty easy. Um, yeah. So that's what I was doing here. I was downloading the Chrome extension and it literally didn't take long. I just typed in Chrome extension in the search or the help center and I clicked where they directed me to and that was it. So what I'm going to um, demo for y'all today is me recording my Google Classroom home screen. So like I said before, all you have to do once you have the extension is click the button on your extension and you have the options to record screen plus camera screen only or camera only you have the options of full desktop or your current tab you have your microphone audio and you have some advanced options so with the advanced options is it pretty much gives you more that you can do um or more you can limit some things so with the full desktop you are recording everything that is on your desktop um with the current tab you are just going to record that tab on the internet or, or your web page so here is your advanced options you can select your microphone source and you can select your camera source 
You can use photo for screen only. You can um, take off the control menu and things like that. So this is what it looks like once you select um, your entire screen that you want to record or the application window. It would literally just be the application window, not your full screen. So here, I am just going to record my application window. I recorded my whole screen on that video I did before, and it is going to be linked down below. So this is what, this is what it looks like once you actually start recording. All right. Like I said, it is recording my application, which is this website. It was my Google Classroom. Everything pretty much still looks the same. So that black circle is where my lovely face would be, but I blacked it out. I just covered my screen. Um, and you have, you can close it out, you can pause it, or you can hit the check mark to finish it up. I minimized that thing in the middle so no one can see it. So like I said before, it is currently now just recording my screen. And so the way how you know it's recording, you have the red dot on the application at the top of your screen, at the top of your um tabs. You also have a recorder next to the website on the search bar. And the loom um symbol on the extension is blinking. Okay, see right there, it is blinking, which is showing me it is recording. And right there is showing me also that it is recording. And that page is recording. So if I was to go to another page, it would not record that page. So let's say, for instance, you want to start a lesson or whatever, and you want your image to be the main thing first. You would just click those one, the biggest circle on that um on your recording screen and it will make it pretty big. So let's stop recording now. Once you hit that check mark, it would tell you it copied to Loom and now it takes you to the Loom website and you're able to do a lot. So what we're gonna do first is you're able to see, you're able to just copy the link right away and just submit it if you think you don't need to edit it or do anything to it. And you have some settings. You can take some comments off you can insert emoji reactions. You can do a lot. So now you have your trim option is where you edit. You have a call to action and you have a customized thumbnail. So I hit the trim because now I'm going to edit. I'm going to show you how to actually edit. So you these little red marks is what you are going to remove. All right. So let's say, for instance, you need to um, toggle be between the time, uh, the time down at the bottom right there shows you what you are removing, the times that you're removing. And I just hit remove and it removed it. So I want to remove something in the middle now. So all I do is click and drag that um, red marker and I'm able to remove part of the video in the middle. You can remove any part of the video. It doesn't have, don't have to just be the beginning or the end. You can remove any part of the video. So if you are logging in somewhere and you don't want the viewer to see it, you can easily remove it. So to remove more than one place, you just hit start trimming and you it would pop up the red markers and you can remove it. Once you are done, you hit start publishing and this little puppy pops up. And it pretty much um, removes all of the trimmings for you and all that good stuff. So now what I'm going to do is create a thumbnail. I did take a screenshot of the page that I was recording, which was the Google Classrooms. And now I'm just going to open it up. And here it is here. So I don't want the bottom of that screen. So all you do is scroll, um, slide in. 
And that's it. You hit save and you go from there. So here you're able to download, duplicate the video, delete the video, or even share the video. You can actually move it to a folder like the folder I created in the beginning. And you can actually add a link to that page that you were on. So all you would do is click it and hit post and it would add it to it would add the link to the page for you. So this is how you copy a link. You just hit copy link and it copies the link and you're able to paste it anywhere you want to, such as Google Classroom or even an email. If you have to send out instructions to parents or your students, you can easily create the video of the instructions of how to navigate Google Classroom and send them the email to help them. So this is what it, the video looks like on your video's home screen. And the three dots allow you to rename it. It allows you to archive it and do quite a few other things. But once you click it, it takes you right back to your editing screen. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos on how I am distance teaching or remote teaching, just make sure you subscribe. Follow me on social media as well as like this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.